What's up, everybody? This is Jared Newman with the Hunt League mobile app. Today, I want to introduce you to a company that I met this year at SHOT Show. Uh, if anybody's ever been to SHOT Show, it is uh, just a massive, massive industry convention for military, law enforcement, hunting, outdoor space. Uh, people are introducing new rifles, scopes, all sorts of different products. And I mean, there's literally thousands upon thousands of products as you go through SHOT Show. Well, this year, as I was walking through, I, I happened, something caught my eye and I was like, wait, what the heck is this? It caught my attention big time uh, as a backpack, uh, backcountry hunter where I'm always looking to shave weight, looking for better optics, looking for ways to uh, take photos or video, record my hunts. And uh, so I want to introduce you right now to Brandon from AccuFire, and I'm going to have him show you the product that caught my attention this year at SHOT Show. What's happening, Brandon? Yeah. You doing all right? Hey, Jay, how you doing, buddy? Hey, man, I'm, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for uh, jumping in here. I can actually see that cool yeah. product that captured my eye is sitting behind you. It's sitting on one of those two beds tripods, too, uh, which... <laughs> It's the only ones we use, man. Dude, those are the bomb. That they were in our they're in our like Apex Predator League, the quick deploy, man. That thing is unreal. Okay, Brandon, tell me, introduce us to Accufire. Tell me a little about Accufire, who you are, Absolutely. and then we'll jump into this product you got. And first off, I want to tell you thank you for all the hunters out there for starting Hunt League. I think it's gonna catch on, man. I think we're gonna have a great time with it. So thank you for doing this and uh, we're excited to be part of it. Man, thank you. Um, so start off real quick. Uh, I came on with AccuFire in 2019. They've been going for a few years uh, since then, but we've kind of rebuilt everything. But when I first came on, this is the only product they had. It was a Noctis V1. It's actually a weapon-mounted digital night uh, scope. It's fantastic. But as a hunter, you know, as a shooter, it's kind of weird to shoot with this, you know, cheek wells and all that stuff. It's a fantastic mm -hmm. product. And still, for the price, for under $700, it's probably the best night vision scope out there. Heck yeah. Um, you know, uh, we still sell a lot of these for disabled hunters, blind hunters. They're, they're big fans of us. So that kind of became the where we're really putting a lot of focus for the V1. Um, kind of fast forward to SHOT Show 2020, right before the big shutdown. Uh, you know, we, uh, I think, I, by the way, I think that's where it all started with SHOT Show because everybody got sick after that. This is the conversation. <laughs> it dispersed um, across the country. Our, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like you said, there were, there's a lot of people there. Um, so, we took a bunch of products. Uh, we wanted to kind of rebuild the company, expand out, have more products. We took everything we had a possibility of making to uh, SHOT Show 2020 to show people what we could possibly make. Okay. Uh, we decided to do a, a thermal clip on, which is our incentives, which you can see in the background back there on my on yep. my rifle. That's, uh, so that's our new Incentives Pro. It's a 2,000 uh, yard uh, det de detection, 1,000 yard identification. Uh, works for the same map the Amos does. We can talk about all that in the time, but that became uh, kind of our, you know, what kind of brought us out. Well, we're sitting there and kind of fast forward to jumping into the Omnis. You know, the, the shutdown happened and we had a bunch of these shells, a bunch of them, right? And we were, we were looking and we were at the, the range one day and we were doing some long range testing, get some data, stuff like that for competition. And we got the eye twitch, you know, when you sit on a spotting scope all day long, it's like, ah. yep. So we pulled out a V1. I was like, hey, this thing's got a 16X zoom. Let's, you know, use this for right now. We're, you know, we're not doing too much. And then we had this idea. It was like, well, let's just put a 10x optical magnifier in the front of it with with a good focus ring and see what happens. Well, our first test of the Omnis was actually came out to be a 240x magnification, and you could see the problem with stabilization, right? Which sure. I'm sure we'll talk about in a second. But our first uh, rendition of the Omnis, which we called the Bob Ross, our happy little accident, you know, uh, was a 240x magnification. And it was just bonkers. So we, we we brought it back to 120, which is still, a, it's a lot. I can't even imagine, like 240, you're looking at eyelashes on an elk at, oh, at yeah. 100 yards. You know, I mean, it's like, you're you're yeah. so tight. So it is a digital optics. You're going to have stabilization issues. When you have that much magnification, like you see, you're looking at an eyelash, every little wind trace is making it go, what? you know, so we had to back it off a little bit. But we've had a lot of fun with it since then. So like, I'm looking at this ominous, you know, like. That, that's what you got behind you. Omnis is O-M-N-I-S. And this thing is under a foot long. I mean, it's just under 12 inches long. Weighs just over two pounds. 
And what, what's the zoom range? Is thirty? Is it thirty to one hundred and twenty? Is that what it is? A thirty by one twenty. Yeah. So uh, we, we've identified. So we have some uh, law enforcement units using these for uh, for for different things. Uh, they're identifying license plates at uh, two miles, um, and that's that's a long range, long way to be able to see uh, what you got. But you, you can see it's actually shorter, smaller than most traditional spotting scopes. Let me back up there. There we go. So for years, I, I've kind of got this deal going on in the background behind me this has been like i know vortex just released kind of their smaller spotting scope which is almost identical in length to what you have but it's actually still much larger this is what i carried because i i had a big old 85 millimeter couldn't handle yeah. it but then when you have this you know you've got to figure out all right what am i putting on the back you know i kind of like to cheat and kind of make a fake omnis this is tacticam system which yeah kinda, puts on the back and this is their spotter lr but uh with this spotter specifically my magnification is tied to the eye cup so if i want to adjust my magnification i actually have to rotate this around which makes oh, my yeah. video and i'm like dad gum it because i was like this is a perfect solution to do exactly what your thing already is built to do right. I'm like, but you know most spotters don't have this this is a brunton it's like an old 10 year old spotter now but uh, I actually stopped carrying it because, uh, it, you know, I just dealt with the complexity of it. And I was like, well, I can't really shoot video through it. I didn't really have a great option. Didn't love uh, the phone case deal that, that I was working with. And when I saw this thing on uh, its shot show, I was like, okay, this is a real solution for backpack hunters because the, the zoom range is unheard of. You don't have 120x zoom and anything else. Now, how much of that is optical versus digital? And like, what, what do you get clarity wise? I mean, I know I've got a picture here where you can kind of see in the background. I mean, I have no idea how far away that hurts. Those were 1.1 mile away. 1.1 um, mile. And that's 120x zoom. It looks I, like. I was fully, that was fully magnified. Yeah. So um, your, your optical zoom is actually a 10x optical. Everything else is digital. You can actually watch everything from your phone and control this from your phone as well too, which is nice. So is what we're, if you, the previous picture, if you saw one of the challenges with this that you don't have with traditional scopes is the glare, right? So if you've got a, you've got sun right behind your back, you can kind of see a little bit up top, but if you've got a lot of glare. It's sometimes it's kind of hard to, to shade that just enough where you can see that, but you could put this in sleep mode, put that, make that black say battery and actually watch everything from your phone from a shaded area or something like that. So you can really see what's going on. And also if you've got this, say you're on a peak and you want to kind of, so I knew you guys, a lot of guys are archery hunters. This is specifically for yeah. archery hunting. If you're doing rifle hunting, you can set this up on a ridge somewhere, right? And within 20, 30 yards away from you and kind of see a different side of the mountain too. And you can still watch that from your phone to make sure. No it's there. way. Yeah. I, when I was going to ask you, is this a cord from your phone to it, but you're just Bluetooth straight to straight to the That's device. Cool. Yeah, it's a Wi-Fi app on uh, Android and uh, iPhone. Uh, you, you know, you just you just Wi-Fi. It, it creates its own Wi-Fi. So now, here's another thing too: is you can actually have more than one person connected to it. So if you're you know if you're up on a ridge, you got a buddy on one side, you're on the other side. As long as you can still have line of sight and get to it, you can both be watching that same uh, the same feed. Dude, this is so cool. You know, I think it's pretty easy to go. Well, I haven't seen this, so like I'm just going to stick to what I know or those things. I mean, the downside that I see is if you're going on an extended backpack deal, it's like, okay, well, are you bringing extra batteries or how are you right. charging it? It does have an external power charge. So if you have a battery bank or power bank, you can run a USB-C straight into it and power it without draining batteries. But you do get over two hours of continuous runtime on a set of batteries, which, and that's, I mean, you can record and you can do, right. it has a built, is it is it photo and video or is it video only? <laughs> It is photo and video, and this actually has an SD card in it, so you can take that SD card out and save that directly to your, you know, to your computer, whatever you want to do. That's going to be your best file. Everything else you can download directly to your phone. One of the things is uh, with this being, you know, like we talked about, the original shell of this was made to be this, right? So the batteries on the Omnis, I usually tell people, especially for the rechargeable, the internals, use yep. those as a backup. And for back for us, what we did, I have one of the solar uh, battery banks. Yep. You know, just take that out there, have that sitting there. And that's what you're running off of without with the 5,000 milliamp battery, uh, with not the solar one, you know, without the recharge, you're looking at six to eight hours of use uh, with one of those batteries. Yeah. Right? I mean, I'm going to reach right here. 
you know, this one, this brick here, this is bigger than your traditional brick, but I think this is a 20,000 milliamp battery. Yeah. And this is what I bring on my back cut, pack hunts. And I can get six, seven days out of something like this. Here's what I love. When I think about this product specifically, like the Hunt League app is designed and built around capturing kind of the story, the experience of hunt. So people are adding pictures, video, audio notes, right. everything into a timeline. And, you know, if you've got a device like this on hand and you can throw it on just a little tiny backpack, uh, you know, tripod, zoom in. I love this because it allows hunters to be able to capture and record some of those things. When you see a herd of elk on a distant hillside, not only are you getting the clarity, like 120 X zoom, you're not, you're not just going, okay, there's a bull over there. You're going, that's a five by five or that's a six by six. Well, and you know, it's funny. I, I just got a text message. I was telling my buddy I was doing this. I've been telling about Hunt League. They're up in Alaska right now, and they, they're they uh, they're they're ram hunting. And, you know, one of the biggest things, you got to see that full curl. He just yep. sent me a video one 1,100 yards away. That they, they, normally, they would have stalked, you know, lost. They would have crossed the river, so they would have exhausted themselves. They zoomed in and saw it wasn't worth it and moved on. They said, man, this thing's a game changer. So now Alaska is starting to become, you know, a, a good place for us, too. Absolutely. It's, it's these hunts where, you know, we, talk, we were talking about this earlier as we we're kind of doing the prep. When you're expending so much energy to get in the mountain, you don't want to waste any more energy than you have to chasing something down, right? Yeah, and that's the biggest thing. Looking, say, is that worth my time? Is it worth? And a lot of times, we've all been there. I mean, we're we're you know we're in Texas, we're big hog hunters, right? Yeah. With night thermal hunting, you'll see something, you'll stalk it forever and forever. I'm like, oh, and you get there, you know, you spend an hour getting there, it's a freaking rock, right? So the same <laughs> thing with the bull, you know, you're, you're looking. And, you know, it's like, oh, this, it looks like a great six by six and you get there, but actually just the, the way it looked at, you know, a couple hundred yards away was, you know, a small three by three, you know, it's just, yeah. it takes a lot of time and energy. And like you said, too, it's a really good way to kind of uh, brag to your buddies too, you know, like, Hey man, look at this. Cause another thing too, is that now when you're out there and you're, and you, you do find that bull, you know, if it's archery, if it's if rifle, whatever it is, you can set that camera up and you can just record that shot, you know, and now you have that forever too, which is something that we all love no. to see. I love it. And to be, you can't beat the weight when you're talking about a, yeah, a spotting sure. scope with this capability coming in at two pounds, like the 85 millimeter that I have, I, I want to say it's somewhere in the closer to five pound range. You know, it's, it's probably, it's probably somewhere between 50 and 70 ounces, you know, um, yeah. you know, I mean, they're just heavy. And then, you know, this setup that I showed you this, this Brunton kind of scope, it's an older one. But I mean, it's still probably 40 ounces, plus you have to have adapters and other things in order to be able to record. So what you guys have created is actually an incredible solution for the backpack hunter. Uh, but what you kind of said something with the, the original, like how it was being designed and developed, you were at the range. I mean, was that really kind of some of the original intent was to be able to spot your shots on, on paper or on, on target? You know, to be honest with you, I wish we'd have put that much thought into it. It was more of the initial one was just made for for the guys we were shooting. It was like, hey, let's just because we, we this was uh, not very much to have made. We originally had a prototype made. It's like we won't sell very many of these. We'll have it at the range. And every time we took it out to the range, people were like, dude, what is that? And I was like, man, we should start making these. So, uh, you know, uh, at the time, we just decided based off of the manufacturing capabilities and what we had to just see what happened and we didn't expect for it to catch on like it has specifically yeah. with uh you know state agencies uh, a lot of uh you know game wards you know, they can tell now they get on a bridge watch a guy fish and you'll see six guys fishing you know get a recording of it go down there and three of the poles are missing like well here's your video right i i got you right here. <laughs> oh that's yeah. really cool so you know and and so but the thing about it is that long range shooting has become kind of our uh my my head of product here is a former armor sniper just retired uh, we spent a lot of time with competitive shooting especially the long range um and to be able to see uh the impacts and to see your wind call the, here's a really cool thing so one of the i guess unintended consequences of the stabilization uh you know you, a little bit look that digital stabilization is that your wind your ability to see wind is is insane so you can see almost the perfect vapor trails because of that that digital almost latency um so you, your ability to make wind calls it, it is it goes exponentially. No way! Yeah. How cool is that? I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of unintended uh, uh, education when it comes to this thing, and we've seen now this is a niche. So we're really leaning into it. Uh, you know, we've got. I think I showed you. I think you saw these. The cases. We uh, we had Savior Equipment make us these cases for these things, and I oh, think man. they are. 
uh, and they're they're super light, but it's really well padded. So it's a good thing you know you can put it in your pack, and you also put all the batteries and all that stuff in there. Yeah. Tripod, everything you need for it. So we really we we've, we've seen this is a this is this is our this is our baby. We're really proud of it. Um, even if uh, you know some the accidental even kids if it's an accident, it's your accidental baby that's just the coolest yeah. dadgum thing out there right now. I mean, it's it is really. A very cool product. I can't wait to really introduce it to our community. I think too, uh, just so people know, um, you know, we've got you guys are jumping in um, right now. We've got you in our Sweet September League, which is an archery elk hunting league specifically. You guys are jumping in as one of the kind of product sponsors. People, we're gonna have you guys a part of our judges panel, helping select the winner of. And it's always a little bit tricky. Like, how do you choose who wins an archery yeah. elk league? But we've got people right now that are creating hunt logs that have logged all the stuff that they've been doing kind of leading into the season. And at the end of the season, we're going to hear some really great stories, whether it be conservation stories, mentoring stories, uh, personal best harvest stories, uh, the ups and downs that always come with uh, archery elk hunting of like, man, I had this giant and then I ended up taking, you know, whatever. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Heartbreak. Yeah. And that's a part of the story. And really the Hunt League app is about capturing the story. It's not about who kills the biggest who kills, right. you know, it's really like, man, tell us about your season, what all went into it. With everything that people log, it, there's a point system associated. So there is some like ranking up based on uh, like how much input you're putting into the app itself. However, right. the leaderboard in that position doesn't dictate or determine who the winner is. It's kind of the leaderboard will help kind of get a few finalists kind of nominated in. But then from right. there, it's like, man, we're going to listen to your story. We want to hear it straight from your mouth. Tell us about your season, how to go. And I'm excited to have AccuFire kind of be a part of that process with us, uh, choosing the winner. But the winner of this sweet September league is going to get this sweet, ominous scope right here. It's a digital spotting scope, 30 to 120x magnification, unheard of, in such a tiny package, under a foot long, just over two pounds, use an external battery charger, get six to eight hours out of it. Plus then you've got your backup is your internal batteries. I mean, Brandon, you guys are knocking it out of the ballpark. Um, Thank you. Yeah, super excited to partner with AccuFire. You guys have a clip-on thermal. So if people don't know what you guys produce, you got clip-on thermals. So you got two, you've got a a entry level maybe I should say, and then like a pro model or or how would you describe it? Yes, we have our basic model. It's a 384 core, no recording, none of that stuff. That one's around you get for under three thousand dollars. Okay. And then our pro model is the one that records. You can see two thousand yards. That one you get for a little under six thousand dollars. Okay. You got your your original product was a night vision product that you showed us. Um, and we turned this exact same technology into uh, one's called the TR1. So it's the same technology, but it looks exactly like a traditional scope. Okay. Back there somewhere. But you don't put your eye on that. You use the screen to – there's a reticle projected on that screen. That's correct. Super cool. Um, and that one you can get for $700. And then you also make optics. To- we do. So we have uh, four traditional optics. We have a 3 to 12. You know, that's the one thing. Everybody has a 3 to 9 to 40. That's the hunting. That's the one, right? Yeah. Uh, we want to take that, beef it up a little bit more. Uh, it's a 3 to 12 to 44. Uh, 30 mil tube. It's got locking turrets, a parallax, a real simple reticle. That one's about 479, and it's got a lifetime warranty. Um, it's it's. I love that freaking scope. Um, yep. Other one that is an LPVO. So we have an Evera six, which is a second focal plane, uh, 30 mil tube. It's got a really awesome reticle. I've got it in my lever guns. It's a really good, you know, kind of a heavy hitter. Uh, yeah. And uh, to that we have a one to eight. And it kind of moves up to our our advanced stuff. Is the Atro eight. Um, that's the one with all the tactical stuff. Uh, a lot of police departments are starting to use that for their for their teams. Sure. Um, and then after that, two and a half to twenty, which is on that back there, that's our long range setup. Two and a half to twenty by uh, by fifty. It is. I mean, it's got all the things. Awesome reticle, fully illuminated parallax. Uh, that's what we just got back in this competition from, which you know we we done pretty well. From you, we're going to see more and more of those out there. Yeah, two and, and a half red- twenty is so nice because you got that two and a half. Oh, yeah. You can back it down and take shots so close, but then twenty gives yeah. you more zoom than you'd ever really want in a hunting situation. You know, maybe yep. that precision long range guys maybe wants a little bit more, but even then, most guys are shooting at 
you know, 14, 15, even when your scope goes yeah. out to 20. It's just uh, what we see is 10 to 12 is usually the average, no matter what it goes out to. So, um, yeah, but the extra magnification does help sometimes. Yeah. Um, and then we've got our, our red dots, which, you know, we're Texas boys. So we have the Pico and the Queso. Uh, the Pico <laughs> is going to be our, 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 our pistol red dots. Uh, which we're actually working on one for next year. It's going to be the taco. That's uh, that's we're, we'll have that shot show. Uh, but so we have three pistol red dots. We have our full size. It's the PCO. It's our big, big window combat optic PCOS, which is our solar version. And then a micro on the, it's the PCOM micro. And those are all on RMR footprint. So they're all the traditional ones. And then we've got one rifle red dots, the QSO. All of them, man, are, we're, we're real proud of all of them. We work really hard on them. That's a good thing about being a smaller company. We can kind of fill voids. And that's exactly what we're going to keep doing, just filling the yeah. gaps in the market. Yeah. Well, I am thrilled, man, truly, Brandon. I'm thrilled to have you guys, AccuFire, come on. I know we already work with a couple kind of different optic companies, but you guys offer some products that are very unique in the marketplace. I love that your thermals, like if somebody is like, well, I, I would like to get into thermal hunting, you know, but they don't necessarily want to swap out the scope that they would use because maybe they have their rifle set up for, yep. for deer, for elk or something. Your thermal optic, you just throw that right in front of, of your whatever traditional optic. And it doesn't matter if it's a, a one to eight optic or a you know vortex six to 36. I mean, you can throw that thermal on front of any of those scopes. That's the that was the, the the idea behind that one. You know, we just didn't really want to. Uh, I don't like the idea of a dedicated night gun, right? I mean, everybody that's that's fine. Some people like it, but for us, when we're making stuff. We're making it for all the guys here: are shooters, military, police. Like, what do we what will we want? So uh, we don't want dedicated night guns. I wanted to be able to take out that gun right there that I just you know I compete with, and I can't tell you how many coyotes I've killed with it. You know, um, it's just it's just one of those things that there's no reason. And also. I mean, you've done night hunting, your arms get tired holding that thermal up and that gun up. So now you just take it off, look around, scan, and when it's time to go to work, just put it on there and, and send oh, it. Oh, that's you know? sick. I love that you could just pop that right off, grab it, do all your scanning with just the thermal. When it's yeah. go time, strap it on, and you're ready to roll. Because you're not changing yeah. any point of impact shift because you're still using the reticle from your right. own scope. Uh, one of the things we did, too, is we actually went with a four-lug system on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Instead of like a two-lug? Yeah, so what that does is your return to zero and your recoil rating is, I mean, it's negligible. We don't recommend this, but we do we do have one of these that's been used on a 50 cal for a while, um, and they've had no issues yet. Uh, our, we still say 308 is high as you want to go. But since we've done this, there's just very little movement to it. Um, and we're this thing here, the Pro, is, is, is for sure the best thermal. I, I mean, I'm a little bit biased, but. We've got places we're taking thousand yard shots on steel uh, consistently, so it's it's good to go. I'm hoping this season, hog season, to get some thousand yard uh, night shots on some pigs, and coyotes. All right, so we're introducing you to the Sweet September League, but there may be some future announcements about some um, apex predator or some night stuff or so you know. So uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah we're, we're well on our way to some really cool stuff that we're going to get to do together. So, Brandon, uh, we'll wrap this up. But, man, I just want to thank you a ton, not only for uh, jumping on and giving your time today uh, with, with the Huntley community, but also for you guys' partnership in some of our leagues. Super excited to partner with you and uh, really do some fun stuff uh, together here in the near future. Appreciate it, man. Hey, good luck on your hunt.